Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 Journeyman save. We are at Lebendorf in Austria. This is episode 13, and we are here for match day. But we are coming off a pair of stunning losses. Uh, remember, our win streak had reached, or our unbeaten streak had reached 10 last episode, and we had had back-to-back two-win episodes. Lifering beats us 2-1 on a penalty and a second half goal and loose to now uh, we had john grima sent off in the 14th minute still took a 1-0 lead and gave up two second half goals as we faded late 2-1 uh, in both games and both were collapses in the second half and both of these were teams that we should have beaten so we have fallen off the pace by one point Team Furwine, who we are playing today, and Bacher Innsbruck is three back, as is BW Lens. LASK Lens, we're also playing them today. They are four back, so these are kind of getting to become must-win matches, if I had to say so. All right, we are at home. We are underdogs, so I am going to actually do the big, well, no... I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. All right. Sommer is back. Clark up top. Uh, let's see. Weigel is having fitness issues. Plus he's below 90, so he needs to rest. Beerbauer will be on the bench. Prestick on the bench. Blazik, Deckelman, Petrov. Oh, I'd like to put him in. Where do we? Do I do that? I think I do. I really want to get these two in a, in a solid partnership. All right. Bit of encouragement? No? Maybe? Nothing? Looks like a little frost on the ground. Gale winds. That's nice. I don't know if that's frost on the ground or wear and tear on the pitch. I'm guessing it's frost. Just because of the patterning of it. It doesn't look like the normal wear and tear. Oh, there's a big through ball. Engel, good save by Fitzpatrick to push it wide. And we got a little lucky there, boys. Uh, I am going to drop back to balanced here after that. All right, that's headed out. Somner just clears it up the pitch. That was probably smart on his part. Frank Heinrich picks up a yellow card, seventh of the season for him. See what our defense can do. Oh, they've got some good one-touch uh, attacks there. Oh, who was that? That was Sturm. Sturm made a play at the ball and missed it. Oh, poor clearance by the keeper. Demand more. It's odd seeing blue chalk lines. I guess with the white, maybe, from the weather, maybe they go blue so you can see it better. And that's a missed tackle and a missed header. And they both combine to lead to a Tobias Gomperl goal, his eighth of the season, and we are in a 1-0 spot. Not very good defense there. Let's pop in here and check something. I'm going to drop that just a smidge. Just a smidge. All right, we do have a corner. Looks like nothing comes of it. Let's ask him to get creative. I mean, possession-wise, shot-wise, we're right there. All right, Whitman. Up to Petrov. He's given some space, and then he lays it back. Not sure what the thinking was there. Well, Heinrich gets past one man, tackled and loses the ball on the other one. Well, there's a good header by Whitman. Petrov finds Forster making a run, and he gives up the ball to Schaefer. So quick one-two passing, Gamperl. Up into the attack zone. He takes it all the way in and shoots. 
just wide. A little lucky for us, we did not close down there. Worth a shit. Show some passion down the stretch. Let's get fired up. And Gilroy. Gilroy was here. I know it's Kilroy. I get it. All right, Rustic, we're going to bring you on the left side. Uh, what is your injury? What are we looking at? Potential lower leg injury. Last time we had one of those, didn't it turn out to be a broken leg? That would be that would be bad. That would be bad. Hopefully it's not. Uh, hopefully it's not too major. And nobody's playing utter shite. Trying to mix in the British cursing because it sounds so much better and probably won't uh, get your videos flagged if I say shite instead of shit. Just a thought. All right. Um, Forster. And I don't have anybody to take his place. Um, Callum Clark. I'm not seeing anything out of him. You know what? What's his passing? Five? That ain't good. What's his passing? Six. Still not good. He can dribble, though. He does have the dribble. If I would put him on the left, it is an attacking position, right? Can he cross? No, not really. I'm going to bring Bierbauer on for Clark. Give him a little match time. Maurice Philip Bierbauer. All right, let's demand more. Controlled by Mal Malachik. Sturm. Petrov. All right, that's a good ball out to Rustic. He's into the box. Crossed in. And I don't think Bierbauer knew what to do. He looked panicked. That was a complete deer in the headlights look. Maybe it's rust. Maybe it's just not enough game time. <laughs> but that was funny. Oh, that's brutal. All right. Um, we are anxious. I'm going to bring Blazik on for the left side over there. And let's let's go with the passion. Fire him up for the final ten minutes. I don't see anything happening, but we've actually got snowfall now. We do have five minutes of stoppage time. We're in the oh. never mind. He just got out over his skis a little bit. Oh, Petrov, through ball, Sommer puts it in his 10th of the season. Petrov showing that veteran poise. That's why we need him on the field. There's an equalizer. Good job. Uh, tactically. All right, we already dropped that. And let's go ahead and do some time wasting. I'd rather get the point then give up a late goal here we've already made three subs Forster all right well we sneak out I, I think we we played well it wasn't horrible we at least keep pace with them right what a comeback great effort we'll do that I can feel comfortable and it is oh shit broken leg so this was the guy that we sold one of our two best players for for him to fill in six assists six goals in 14 matches he is going to be missed we're gonna have to pay the specialist to get him you know just to make sure it's handled right um, I'm gonna be passionate All right, well, God dog it. Petrov, your passing was 
stellar. 94% passing. Got to like that. We'll be back in six days. I've got to evaluate who we're going to play out there. I don't think Forster's our long-term answer. I think he's more of a reserve, but we may be shot for the season at that position. See you guys in a second. Oh, boy, that injury is going to be... I don't know. Let's jump into the team report here real quick. Hello, team report. Thank you. Depth chart. I mean, Gilroy by far was our best player. Can I get Lovekey back? Well, Rustic's going to start. See, Forster can't even really play that side. I wonder if I can recall him from loan. I can. Yep. We're going to recall Lovekey from loan. He's gonna be our. He's gonna come into the depth chart. He'll be our. He'll be our new. Uh, let's compare him and Hrustic real quick. I know it doesn't matter for today, but you know, still, right? We got a game plan. We gotta. We gotta figure this out. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's look at the attributes. Looks like Hrustic's gonna be a little bit green. Green is Lubke. So it looks like Lovegy's going to have better speed, vision, and physicals. Better aerial. Everything else is going to be pretty equal. So he's got two goals and nine assists in 25 games out on loan. We've got two assists, no goals. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a good call. I think that's going to be a good call. All right, well, let's get back to where we need to be at here. So we have a drizzle with strong wind. We're on the road. All right, Sommer and Weigel up top. Rustic's going to start on the left, Green on the right. We're going to go with Sturm and Polisteris in the mid this time. All right, boys. We need to really have a reversal of fortunes here. Just, you know, we need to we need to get back on a winning kick here. You know, so so go out and get creative. I'm going to holler at you from the get-go. Get creative, damn it. And then give up a shot to them. And it's on target. Oh, but we got one, but it was off target. Oh, another one off target. All right, we're in blue. That's interesting. You know, most clubs would play that into the attack zone. And he laid it off. Oh, and there's a header, Fitzpatrick. Good positioning, makes the save. Sure-handed grab. Keeps us alive. All right, Grima. There's Sturm. Sturm Brightblade. That's who I think about every time I see his name here in the game. If you know the Sturm, bro, oh my God. Yeah. Andreas Fine, eighth goal of the season, and that was a very fine shot. And Fitzpatrick had no shot. Uh, if you know who Stern Brightblade is, let me know in the comments if you get the reference. It's a literature reference, actually. There's a, a little hint for you. Show some passion. Fire them up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Brandon Lee. And we're down one nothing here, guys. Uh, disappointing performance. We don't have any yellows. Uh, don't like the 6 fours, but they're better than 5 eights, I suppose. Uh, let's demand more. All right. Good ball out over the top to Busman. Oh, uh, we tackle. And it still goes through the player. Shit. And Rudy Arsberger, his first goal of the season. That's one that he will keep on his highlight reel for the rest of his career. God, Fitzpatrick, you are not looking good. Whitman, back post. Dreesen brings us back to within one. A quick answer. Very, very nice. Let's encourage, well, we can't encourage yet. That's all right. So a set piece goal. Very good. 
All right, uh, Rustic, and I'm going to have to run his ass into the ground, I think. Callum, four. Yeah, I don't see. Where can he, can he play out there? No. Got a mid right, mid center. Hollisteris. He can play attacking right, and he can cross a little bit. Mid left, mid right. So you know what? I'm going to switch Greenman Rustic. We're going to bring Polisteris to the right side for Rustic. And then he's out. And then we'll bring in Petrov. And Petrov and Sturm will swap places. I'm feeling that. And Malachik for Blazek. Let's do that. And let's uh, demand more, please. Let's go up to positive. Oh boy, halt to Balmer. All right, you know what? Weigel, Weigel, Weigel is uh, nervous. A lot of people are anxious, but let's. Let's bring Clark in for Beigel. Get some fresh legs up top. Push forward. Oof. That just goes over the goal. We got lucky there. 32 away fans made the trip today. And we outplayed them. I mean, we had a hell of a lot more possession. Better passing. They won more tackles and they dominated us in the air. I think that's where we lost this game. We're really falling off the pace here. Team Furwine is now four points ahead of us. And we are on even footing with Linz. Ow. We are struggling here, boys. All right, so he's going to get a raise to 174. Lupke's coming back, so we'll start seeing him in matches. All right, we are we are in bad form for the month of March. All right, I think what we're going to do, let's come back for Lafnitz and Innsbruck, and then we'll come back for B.W. Lins and Aller Heiligen. Yeah, I think that's a good split. We'll do three off camera, two back, two away, two back. All right, hit the like button, subscribe. Pitiful, pitiful performance today, guys. We scored. I mean, we scored in every game, but... Ugh. All right, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.